Okay, we're up to Daf Ayin Amid Beis at the bottom. We began the new parak yesterday. We said an oral cannot eat from truma. An oral, an oral, an oral can't eat, eat, eat truma. What? An oral, an oral cannot eat, cannot eat truma. Right? Where do you know it from? We know it from a gezer shava. Toishem sachi, toishem sachi. According to Rebbe from carbon pesa. Just like carbon pesach, it says mafurish in the Torah, an oral can't partake of it. Who are din by truma, an oral can't take of it, and that's taishav sacha, taishav sacha. That's the gzera shava. Rabbi Akiva was of the opinion. It says ish ish rad ki ki yem etzrua aizov. If it's tamei, if this is a different type of truma, right? And and he learns out from that pasuk that an oral cannot eat from truma. Okay, so we said once we establish according to Rabbi Eliezer, we establish a relationship between. Truma and 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 Karim Pesach. So we're asking all the alakas of Karim Pesach should should apply by Truma. So we ask regarding Aninus, and we asked about what about the halacha, unique halacha that the the mila of one's Karim Pesach stops him from eating the mila of of his eved or his male stops him from eating the Karim Pesach. So we who done with Truma. So we said it's a miut. It says umalto oisoi az yaychal boy boy it. It's a it is a miut. The Gemara now will go ahead and go through different. Pl- uh, different halachas by the carbon Pesach, where it says boy, and what's come to be mamayat. So we're going to begin on ayin amid beis. We are, we are um, two lines to the bottom. Hashda the amid boy lidrasha hu the asa. Now you're telling me that the word boy is for the purpose of a drasha. You know, when the Torah says kol ben necha layochal boy by carbon Pesach, it says any ben necha. Now literally a ben necha is a guy. A ben necher is, but we we dash in that it's a ben necher. It's a Jew who makes himself a nachris. He makes himself like like he's a nachris. Call ben necher lo yochal boy kini from the karma pesach lamali boy. Why does the boy come to include or exclude? It says Gemara hamaras das poiseles by by boy hamaras das poiseles. Meaning by carbon pesach is one who's rebelling against yahadus. Do we say ben necher lo yochal boy? The ein hamaras das poiseles be meiser. And by, but however, the, if a person is a ben necher, he's a he's off the derech, he's rebelling against Hashem, and he happened, and and he could eat ma'ase sheni. Taisa says he can even eat truma. He would never even even eat truma because the boy was limiting the halacha to what to to carbon pesach. It would not extend to truma and or ma'ase. So that's the meat over there. Says the Gemara. Uh, when it says Boy in oichel the oral can eat. I will oichel who be matzah umara, but he could in fact eat a matzah and mara. Good. So we have two psukim that describe what an oral can't do. He can't eat from the carbon pesach whether he's an oral, and he can't eat is, is a ben necha, right? He can't eat is a ben necha. Says the gemara bitzich michtiv oral bitzich michtiv kol ben necha. You have to you have to tell me both. We have seats over here. If you want to come down, we'll, we'll move a shtendus for you, right? Di kasrach mana oral, right? If the Torah is going to write oral. Mishum de Moyes. You know why the oral came from the carbon Pesach? Because, yeah, yeah, because, take, because it's Moyes, because, because it's, it's, it's disgusting. So since it's disgusting, he can't eat from the carbon Pesach. Therefore, Avo Ben Necher, Deloy Moyes. But a Ben Necher who is not, 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 not Moyes, not something that's, you know, this, the, 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 the disgusting, a Moloy, I'd say he could eat from the carbon Pesach. Maybe you have to tell me Ben Necher can. Because Rachmana called Ben Necher, if the Torah right called Ben Necher, the reason he came from the carbon pesach is because why his lave is not the shemayim; he's not in, in, in line with Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Aval oral the libel the shemayim, but an oral whose lave is the shemayim, a maloi. I would say no that he could eat from the carbon pesach; he could partake. So the tzricha tell me he can. Okay, so very good. Now it says three times by carbon pesach. It says lashem imenu. It says it says leisochol imenu na. You can't eat from it na half broiled. They say, "Sir, me menu I bike. You can't leave leave it over me menu until the morning." And then it says, "Vay nice me menu I bike be eish tisar." So we're going to learn out. The Gemara is going to dash in a few blot. Me menu, me menu, me menu. But me menu is mashma miet. Me menu from it. Lo yachal bo it. Me menu it. So once you're telling me bo is by carbon pesach the miot, what's the miot of me menu? Right. So in other words, let's keep in line dashing the whole sugya. You're telling me that the bo is a miot. What's the me menu be miot? So me menu, me menu. Lamali, the Chidra Rabba Am Rab Yitzchak. We're going to see this Hashem at Daf Ayin Dalit. Now, going back over the Brisa. Anytime, guys, you see on the Mar means going back over the Brisa. So we've had gone ahead now, and we've explained the Shitas of Rabbi Eliezer. 
whose source for an oral not eating truma was the Gezeva Shova, Gezeva Shova of Toshev Sochet, Toshev Sochet, from Karben Pesach. Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva said it's a Pasuk, right? Rabbi Akiva said what? Rabbi Akiva said the Pasuk is, Ish, Ish, Mizera, Aaron, Behutzeru, Aizov, Vakotshem, Oyoichel, Adashay Yitzvah, Vakotshem, it's speaking here about what about, uh, about Truma, and it says you shouldn't eat. So now, Omar, let's explain the Shita of Rabbi Akiva. And we're going to ask on Rabbi Akiva the same way we asked on, on Rabbi Eliezer, by Yaninus, and so forth. Omar, Rabbi Akiva, I mean, it's Sarach, you don't need the Gezeva Shava of of, of, of Tasha Sachir, because Hari Hu Aymet says, Ish, Ish, the rabbi says, Aurel, the double Lush and Ish comes to Yimar, but then an oral cannot Iwat from, 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 from Truma. Fred Gemara, the Aymel, the rabbi says, Aynan. Maybe it means that an Aynan can't eat Truma. Again, the same way we asked the Kashi Iwat by Light Rebbe Eliezer, we're going to ask Light Rebbe Akiva. Or maybe it's the same time as Amar Kra, the Pusik says, the Cholzar, it says, any the Cholzar, like a boy, Zara Samati, the Chabalay Aninus. Zorus, I told you, can't eat from the carbon paste, uh, can't can, can, can eat from, from, uh, from Truma. But Aninus, but Aninus could eat from Truma. So I have a pastor to tell me you could. So you can't laugh from carbon paste uh, that you can't. Fred Gemara, the aim of Lay Arlis. Why did you opt to say that the Miat by the, or the Reboy to be Marba who can't call, uh, is including an Aro? Why don't you say it comes to include what at an O name? Why did we choose for that? So the same. It goes with the same Gemara as we, we did yesterday. Hak Siv. What is this? What is that? David, there's water in the kitchen. You want to get him a water? Get him a salsa or something. He's, you know, in the kitchen. Go, he'll give you. Okay. Huh? No, in the kitchen is down there. <coughs> says, the, says the Gemara, the Chol Zara Samati, the Chavalayaninus. Says, okay. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, so the Gemara Zakasha, how did Rebbe, maybe the ish ish comes to go ahead and say that not an oral but an oinin is us from Truma says the Gemara, no, it doesn't make sense to say that after all, right? Ma, it says it's it says uh zar, zar I said a zar can't eat for, can't eat from Truma, but an, an oinin could. Fred the Gemara Vemal Alice, but maybe a zar can eat, but an oral could eat. Says Mahak Sivish Ish. Umar Royas, why do you apply the ish ish to include? Uh, an oral that it can't eat, maybe it's a, an oinin can't eat and an oral could. It makes more sense to include an oral vis a vis the halacha of not eating truma. Shekain, as we saw yesterday, the same mnemonic, maisim krusim badava ha eved, mechusim maisu, maisu begufa, it's mechusar in action and the actions in his body by the oral, the oinish karis, if he doesn't undergo a bismila, the yeshnal of nei dibor was given to Rama vinu before man taira. And the Mila of his male children is mocking from eating the Karim Pesach. So therefore, it makes more sense to include what? The, the oral, the Indian, the Isra of Truma, rather than the Oinein. Says my other Rabbah, Aninus Havile Rubuya. We should go ahead and, and, and say it includes Aninus. And why? She came, what's, you, what's the Chumma that Aninus has? She came, Yesh Bechol shots all the time. It's both male and female. And you can't go ahead right, and, and correct it. So let's say the anima should be included, not the truma and not oral. Says so none, nonetheless, Hanach If you add them up, you have more reasons by oral to include oral in the Yisra of eating truma rather than animas. says, forget the 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 get the columns and the numbers, right? Even from the Pasik itself, you have a choice of including a an oral or an oin, and it makes sense to include right, an, an, an oral. Why? Because I'm a kra, ish ish. It's speaking about a male. What's something that exists by a man and not a woman? That be alus and not aninus, which exists by a woman. So therefore, it makes more sense to say that the pasuk, if it's going to come to include something, the Indian isra of tuma of eating kachim leyachal and kachim yah being truma, the isra would be alus ish rather than mat an oin. Rabbi Kiva, high taisha b'sachem mayavid lake. Now Rabbi Kiva, he doesn't learn the gzeira shava; he learns it from his ish. Yet we know we have extra words by carbon pesach. Both the word ish, taisha and sachem were extra, right? What do you use it for? <clears throat> Says the Gemara, Amar Rav Shmaya, lasuye arve mahol vegiv oni mahol. 
let's say you have an Arab that underwent a Mila and a Gavoinim that underwent a Mila. So you might think they could partake of the carbon Pesach. You might think they could partake. So the Toshe Vesacha comes to say that they can't. Again, it's there's no mitzvah for a guy to eat it, but I, again, I'm I'm not. <laughs> I, again, I I learned it this morning. I said, what's the havamina that they would be able to eat it? Because they're not an oral. So what does that mean? So I, I'm not sure. Maybe with a rashba in the next piece, we'll see in a second. Maybe. So givon and malva I don't think so. Friends of honey mulin, you know, do you, you consider these people mulin? But tenan. Anyone who says it makes a net, the kainim is a lashon of shvua. Guys, anytime it says kainim, it's a lashon that this is also upon me like a carbon. So kainim sha'ani nena la'arelim, kainim that I can't have ano from arelim. Muta ba'ala Yisrael. You'll be muta to an arla Yisrael. Fiyasa b'muli avikichavim. Here's our rule of thumb, fellas. By nidarim, we go after lashon b'nei adam. What, a pers- what does a person mean? Right? But we go after what a person means. So if a person says an oral, what does he mean? A guy, a guy, an oral is a guy. You know, it's, if, if, even if, if the Jew happens to physically be an oral, he doesn't mean that. Good. So now if he makes a, a nether not to have enough from a relim, he's not to have enough from Yidden, and he's also to have enough from Muli or Bikachov. In other words, any Yav Bikachov you can have enough from, because they're relim. Koinim shan and lemulim. However, he says, Koinim, I can't have enough from people who are gamalit. Mutta be muli erev de kechavim because they because the what they called arelim the yaseh ba'al erle yisrael. So obviously you see that what that they called arelim any which way. So therefore, why do you need a pasuk to go ahead right and exclude them? So as me'elo la suya ger shemol v'lo tavo to exclude a ger that had a mila and then and then have a tefila the cotton shenolat kushumol and a cotton that had a mila when what he was born gemalit. So. So you would think that what that since he's born Gamalit and since a ger shemol betovel that they're partially a Jew. So you might think they eat from the current Pesach, but no. Since he, the guy the, the the ger needs tefila, and the cotton requires hatafis dambris. It's tarach lahatif imenu dambris. And in other words, you have to bloodlet a little bit from oisay makain. So therefore, since you have to do that, he would not be able to eat from the current Pesach. So now it's fascinating kasha. I, I don't know if this helps us with with the. The, the the Arabs, but you might have a havamina that what that a ger that goes to the mikvah v'loy tavol could eat from the carbon pesach that you need to tell him a pasuk that he can't because sava ain't a ger the lashon of the rashba because sava she ain't a ger at she yimol v'yitbo you need both we had we had a machlokes early in the masechta guys do you need both do you need one if this meal alone do do it a daf memvav right remember the sugya a little bit. Yeah. Well, you know, one says a, a mila alone, one says tefillah alone, one says you need both. We possibly need both. Good. So now this gemara is going to the opinion. If you go, if you have a bris mila and you don't have a tefillah, you're not a Jew. Kashali, says the Rambam. In Cain, Hainu guy. And you can learn that from a called Ben Nechar. He's an Aral. He's the same thing as what as Arve Mahal. He's the same thing. In other words, he's a, he's a he's a guy that's an oral. And once you're an oral, it's, it seems to think that if you're not an oral, you could eat from the carbon pesach. If you notice, if the if the mila of a guy was a good mila, you could eat from the carbon pesach. It's mashma. But over here, you're telling me he's a guy, like, and he's no different than the case we said before of an Arab that had a mila. Says the Velessa, the shiny hacha, the milasay l'shem yahados. His mila was the shem yahados. By the other guy, his stomach is like that was. For health purposes, a guy has a uh, circumcision over here with the tefillah. With this, this was the Afabishle Nigma Gerusai, even though he didn't complete his Gerus yet. We call Mokin Kfai Hischel, he began, Venichnis Ketsas Bidas Yadus, and he's entered Yiddish Kite a little bit. Shane it's Sarachel Tefillah. So, therefore, he's better than a guy. And you would have a half minute since he began the process that he could eat. Kamash Malan, he's an oral and he still can eat. That's, that's the Chiddush over here. What? To have a mitzvah to carbon pesach. We're talking about eating the carbon pesach. No mitzvah. There's no mitzvah to carbon pesach. It's not when it's Zayin mitzvahs b'nei Noach, right? The question is, is an oral and, and eats from it. You have a gemara. It says, oh, here, yeah, before the gemara, right? Before it says, 
you're not speaking about a, a Jew who had a Goyesha Mila, you're speaking about an Aral. Right? You're speaking about a guy. So, so it's, and obviously he's saying that what? If it wasn't the fact that it was an Aral, he could eat from the current Pesach. I don't know, it was a mitzvah again. I don't know. Again, it, it bothers me. I'm still uncomfortable with it, but again. Says Gemara. Revelyezer Tamei, Revelyezer who does not, guys, Revelyezer who does not need the ish ish to learn this. In other words, guys, Loy Rebbe Akiva, where does he learn this halacha from? That a, 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 a ger that was Tavel, Veloy Mol, is out of the ballpark. And a cotton that was born Gemal, it's out of the ballpark. He learns it from ish ish. But he learns, excuse me, he learns it out from Toshiv Asachir. But Rebbe Eliezer, who uses Toshiv Asachir with the Zerah Shava, where does he know these halachas from? Uh, uh, no, you, you can't learn it from Ishish. Says Rebbe Eliezer, the Tamei, Doma Ger Shemo Vela Toivo, Ger Ma'al Yehu. A Ger that had a meal and, and wasn't Toivo, he's a full fledged Yid, so he could eat from the Karim Pesach. Because of a cotton kishin noiled Maho, ain't Sarklat of Menadam Bris. So he what? He's considered of a uh, considered Gamalad a kid, and he doesn't need it. So Mimela, he doesn't need a limit for it because in fact it's mutter. He argues in the he argues in the halacha. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need Rabbi Akiva needs it for that source, but he doesn't need it for that source because he holds it's mutter in the first place. Rabbi Eliezer, hi ish ish my overlay. Why does Rabbi Eliezer do what with the ish ish my overlay? Why does he do with that? He says my dibatari klash many adam. It's a, there's no limit over here. Ish ish. It says it's just the Torah speaking. What the lashon of of Bnei Yadam. Okay, now, boy Rav Chama Bar Ukva cut an oral mahu l'soichay b'shem and shel truma. A cut an oral. What's the din of him going ahead and having truma oil of truma uh, anointing him? You know, it's rubbing it in. We know that rubbing is tantamount with shtia, with drinking. So we know that an oral can't drink from the carbon Pesach, uh, from, from truma. An oral can't drink truma. Good? Can't drink carbon Pesach also. This child is less than eight days old. Good? So we want to know, can a child that's less than eight days old eat, eat truma or not? That's the question. The reason why it says to go ahead and, and uh, smear it, the Miri says, because okay. stomach, he's not eating or drinking if you say you're so, so small. Yeah, you know, it's, but who are din? Who are din? That, so, in other words, Salam de Shashaila. Does an oral mean someone what is, is someone who could, could and doesn't, either according to Rashi because his brother died or because he's scared, like Rabbi Tam, or is an oral a physical thing? And this child is an oral. He's a little baby. He's an oral. So could, but could he, in other words, that, that's the Shiloh over here. Says the Gemara. Ar l'shaloi b'zmana ma'akva. Is an ar l'shaloi b'zmana, meaning before eight days old ma'akif, does it stop? Oiloi ma'akif, or it doesn't stop. That's the Shiloh at hand. Very, very interesting Shiloh. So Omer Abzeira, Toshma, Ein liela milas sechorov bish. Okay, now, we need two pesukim over here. We need to pesuk him. I'll read them to you. Shmois yud beis mem ches and shmois yud beis mem dalid in the parsha of of carbon of carbon pesach. So here's the first pasuk, guys. Listen, it's important to get the the, the lashon. V'chi yagur itcha ger v'asa pesach la Hashem hima loy kol zachar v'yoz yikar of la say say. So now, if you uh, you you you're bringing the carbon pesach. Go ahead, hima loy kol zachar. Go ahead and give a bris to all your males. Vyaz then yikrav la soy soy. You can come close la so so to do it, meaning to shecht it. The mila, the the mila precedes the asiya, and the asiya is the shkita. That's the beginning of the process. Good. So in other words, you got to be gemalit when before you shecht it, based upon this pasuk. The next pasuk. In, in the uh, the pasuk before two pasuk four pasuk before the chol eved ish miknas kesef any eved ish miknas kesef meaning uh, a, an eved kanani u malta oisai and you'll mal him az yoichal boy then he'll eat from it so you have two things over here one pasuk says a zachar a regular person has to be gamalat for that siya. 
and an Evid has to be Gamalit before the Achila. Good? So in other words, we established two psukim, two actions of when the meal should take place. By a Zachar, by a, a child, by the before the Shechita, and the Eved before the Achila. Says the Gemara inside. Again, and we want to answer the Shaila. We're trying, Reb Zayv is trying to be pushed to the Shaila, whether less than eight days old is considered an Aro. Toshma. Ainli ela milas zecharov bishas asiya the avadov bishas achila. I only know the mila of the male before the shechita and the mila of the eved before the achila. Again, we were medayik, right? One speaking about a male and one speaking about what an eved. Me nayin litein es ha'ama shel ze bize es ha'ama shel ze bize. How do you know that the male also has to be before the achila? And how do you know the eved has to be before the shechita? How do you know that what? That lav dafka, the, the specifically the male before the, the, the shechita and the eved before the, before the achila. How do you know vice versa? As it says, by it says, as it says, so we have a gazeva shava. So anytime you have a male, regardless if it's your son, regardless if it's an eved, it has to be when? Before the shechita. And regardless, it has to be before the Achila. So now we have to have, guys, we have to find the case of how do you have an Eved who wasn't there by the Shechita, but was there by the Achila? How do you have a child that wasn't there by the Achila, uh, uh, Shechita, and was there by the Achila? Now, the time span is not really such a big deal. Why? The Shechita had, you, start, you shech the carbon Pesach, if starting after Chatzos. You only eat the carbon Pesach in the evening. Right, so you have a whole time span in between. So we need to have an now to have an evidence It's no big deal. You purchase an evidence in between. He wasn't there b'shas the shechita. He was there b'shas the achila. But what about a kid? So it must be what the kid was born when in between. How old's the kid? Less than eight days old. And if you don't give him mila, right? It's ma'akiv. So you see that while we have a raya. That less than eight days old, hey, stan oral is called an oral. That's going to be the Gemara's raya. Beautiful raya. Says the Gemara. Tamalayma az az, the Gazer is Shava. Now, Bishlayma avadav mishkachas lahutla, the Isnu bishas achila, Vanesnu bishas asiya, Kigoin, there's Avninu baini baini. You purchased him between the Shkita and the achila. El is the Chorov, the Isnu bishas achila, that is around bishas achila, Vanesnu bishas asiya, hey, he mishkachas la, how do you find him? Love this Yalud Bain Asil Achila. It must be he's born between what? The Asir Achila and Shmamino. Alish Lebismana Habi Alus. Lukhaira, Alish Lebismana is on the great Raya. Great Raya. You, you have a problem? Yes. I'm just going to look at Kasha. I also had that Kasha. To eat from the current Pesach, you have to be counted in. Hmm? In other words, you perch. So it, again, we're talking about if you're being ma'ak of you from eating it. You're counted in. Again, the, baby, the, baby the, baby the baby's not eating. You're, you're asking, in order for you to eat, you have to go ahead. We're not speaking about the baby eating. We're speaking about you won't be able to eat it because your, your baby yeah. is not gamalit. Yeah, so you understand? So it's not a kasha. It's not a kasha. Okay, good. You got it? Good. Says the Gemara, but, but it's good, it's good thinking. Alma Rava says Rava, Petisbara, the Pusik says, guys, Himaloi Kol Zachar. The Pusik says, it could give us a Pesach Shem, Himaloi Kol Zachar. It's Mashma, give a Mila to anyone who is a Zachar, who you're able to give a Mila to. It's, it's Mashma only that what? Some who's roy to get a mila. The words himalay zachar mal every zachar who can who you can amrachmana v'yozik rela soisay v'halav v'hai lav bar mehilahu. So therefore, this person you can't give a mila to. So therefore, this would not be ma'akiv. If that's your case, that the child was born, that's not the case. So we now we just grab. So therefore, your raya is not a raya because that's not the case. But we do have a gzeri shal of us us, and we have to find the hechet timsa of having a male between the shechita and the achila. Good, that's what we're trying to find. We have to find such a case. Alochem ayaskin and going that the child, the person was sick, 
he was sick b'shas the shkita and he got better by the achila. That the heat fever left him. So he was a chayla b'shas the rat shkita. He was out of the ballpark, and then he got better afterwards. Says the Gemara, the Nesav lay called Shiva, then you should still be able to eat from the current Pesach because you have to wait seven days. If a person, right? Because it says the Yavim lay called Shiva, a person we give him seven days after he gets better. So therefore, when the fever breaks, we give him seven days. Yeah, and for the, so the Gemara says the Yavim lay called Shiva. In other words, we give him seven days. In other words, he got sick. He got sick on, on Zion Nisan, and 14 days later, he, he, he cured, cured in the middle of the day. For the Gemara, so if it's 14 days, so Vinimal of Safra, give a meal in the morning before the before the Shrita. Says Gemara, be inin me'esla ace. You need me'esla ace. You need exactly from when he got better. And therefore the me'esla ace was between the Achila and the, the, the Shrita and the Achila. Says Gemara Vahutani Luda'a, that's the name of a person. Vahutani Luda'a, Yom Hivirasai Kiyom Hivaldai. The day that he gets better is like the day he got born. My love, my yoimi voldo lay be in ace just like the day you're born. You just count the day. We don't count 24 hours from the exact time where you got born. I feel me have rustle, the day you got better, lay be in a lace. So therefore, give the bris in the morning and you won't have a problem. Doesn't matter like other like other if yummy brush me on the voldo, it's much stronger. Deal yummy voldo lay be in a mace lace. The day you're born, you don't need mace lace for the meal, right? If you're born in the if you're born at the end of the of the of the, of the day, you still get the meal in the beginning of the day. We don't need mace lace. You do need mace lace. So that would be the that would be the Timsa, right? Where you gave him seven days, he got he got better. And he, when did he get better? He got better somewhere between the shita and the achila. And if, therefore, you better give him a, a meal if you don't. That he was he was sick. That uh, and I guess this is a, a disease that you don't need wait seven days for, no, just right away. So therefore, that's the case. He in the morning he could you, he couldn't give him a meal because why? Because he was right, his eyes were hurting him, and then he got better in the afternoon. They were what they were chavish in the base asurim. Veshasta asia. Look at Rashi guys. Chavushim. Veshas asia. U mitzvus mila mutelas alehem. And the mitzvah of mila is upon, upon both of them, not on others. The heimin and yechayim lasay says piskon. They're not able to be in the current pesach because they're in prison. The shachat shluchin aleihem and the shliach shechted for them. Rashmin and kroa shem yotzei b'shas achilos milas benoi makbasay. If they get out b'shas the achila, the mila of the son is makim. Okay, so now this is it's not a problem with the child; it's a problem with the parents. What are we looking for? We're looking for a case where between the shechita and the achila, if you don't give a mila, you can't eat from the current Pesach. So until now, we've dealt with the case of the child. The child was, uh, had a fever seven days before. The child had this, uh, you couldn't do the meal in the morning because the child was ill, and then he got better in the afternoon. And it's not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a disease that you have to wait. You don't have to wait for this disease. And now we have a case that is Chosh Beisusun. The parents are in prison. They send the shliach, do me a favor. We're going to get out this afternoon and bring the carbon Pesach. When they get out, if they have a child who, who's required a mila because it's the eighth day of his mila, so they didn't do it in the morning because they were still in prison. And now they can do it. They have to do it in the afternoon. If they don't, they won't be able, able to eat from, from the carbon Pesach. If they eat, they won't be able to eat from the carbon Pesach. I'm kind of braver of Nehemiah Amar. You're going tumtum shenikra benimtza zacha beini ubeini. For the, the child that was born, you was tumtum and it got ripped open. Baini, baini, I guess it's the eighth day, and 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 now you better give this child. It, it was a tumtum. We went. We, it's covered up. His area was covered up. We don't know what he is. Now we know what he is. You better give him a bismillah. You won't be able to eat. Rav Shrav the Omar of my bunch of turutzim kigoyin shalhitzi roishay chutz the praisedar. The child puts his head out and then goes back in. The child puts his head out and then the child goes ahead and and it puts its its head its head its head back in. So what, what's the case is that, and it comes out, so it, it, it wasn't there in the morning and it came out in the afternoon. So it's considered born by Tanya. This child is not going to live. But Tanya, once it, its head pops out, that that been sussum, the mouth will become open. 
and that that was was what was open will become closed. The 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 navel will become closed. Shemali kain ein yachal chayos. I feel a shaachas. So how does this child live if it stuck its head out? Pashtas. Right? It's going to go ahead and it's going to be nurtured off its fever, off its heat. Now, Yishasa the man, who's heat are we speaking about? If you're telling me its own heat, he's going to have to wait seven days. It must be the zonse ashisa de ime. It's being sustained by the, 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 the fever of the mother, the heat of the mother, right? Hani mili that it can't live is heichd leim mavi, but doesn't cry out. Avo heichd the mavi, mechayim chayim it could live. So, I have written on the side of my Gemara something fascinating. Uh, anyone who writes a blog might want to listen to this. The in 1993, I was in Camp Tarvada. I was I was somewhere, I don't know where, but I ran into Rebelsi's at Sal. And I asked him about this thing about living off the heat. Ravelsky was you do it as a, 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 a scientist. He, he, was, he was an expert in everything. And I wrote down the side of my Gemara. I'll rewrite it on the side of my Gemara. I said, I spoke to Rav Yisrael Belsky, the son of Tuf Shin, Tuf Shin Samich Gimel, and was told that 60% of our food goes to sustain our body's temperature. 60% of our cool food goes to sustain our body's temperature. And by a young child, the mother's heat keeps the child's temperature perfect. How much food does an infant need, right? Thus, the mother's heat suffices to keep it alive. That's what he told me. That's what he told me. He said that it's the reason you eat is for the body temperature. So if you have the heat, right, from another source, you don't have to eat. And therefore, this child can sustain. It's fascinating. I'm just saying, it's, it's like it's television. Right? An oral can be makabla, and let's say an oral that's tame. You have a za is the sprinkle of a paraduma from day three and day seven. You have to have the paraduma sprinkle upon you. So let's put this person's an oral and he's tame. Makabla za. In other words, he's an oral, but he'll be tahar. We find our abbas, we find the abbas by, by, um, the Yeshua. Okay, to understand this Gemara, the following Gemara, let me give you a little timeline. Guys, outside, outside, little history. B'nai Yisrael are in the Midbar. They brought the carbon Pesach once. They brought the carbon Pesach once. And the people who went out of Mitzrayim, they were Gemalik. The people who went out of Mitzrayim, they were Gemalik. The ones who were born in the Midbar were not Gemalik. Because all the 40 years in the Midbar, as a result of Machloikas Rashi, and Toysus, whether it was Cheda Egel or it was the Cheda of the Miraglim, the North Wind was unable to get to them. The North Wind is what brought, brought a cure. So if they would have undergone, undergone a Mila, they would have died. So they were not all 40 years in the Midbar, they didn't have a Bris Mila. So they brought the Karim Pesach the first year out. All 40 years, they didn't bring, they, they didn't, they didn't bring, a, they didn't bring, a, they didn't bring a Karim Pesach, and they were, what? In fact, they weren't Gemalik. They go into Eretz Yisrael. Moshe is Nifta on Zion Ada, right? Moshe is Nifta Zion Ada. Thirty days later, God's Baruch comes to Yeshua Binun in the beginning of the day for Yeshua, and he says it's enough. Thirty days, even for Moshe, is enough. So now you're speaking at Zion Nisan. He says three days you're going to Eretz Yisrael. So they cross the Yarden on Yud. Now they got to bring the Karm Pesach on Yudalim, but they're what? They're not Gemalik, correct? They're not Gemalos, so they're going to have to undergo a Bismillah. They also had wars in the Midbar. They also they had wars in the Midbar, and they buried the dead in the Midbar. So you have to take into account there were people who what? Were Tomei Tumas Mace. And, the, and we know that if they crossed on Yud, and they got to bring the Karim Pesach on Yudalid, they, had, they couldn't be Tomei, yeah? So obviously, even though they were a Raylan, you had to have Karb, you had to have Paraduma sprinkled upon them, so you have a Raya that what? That paraduma could be sprinkled on an arrow. If that makes uh, makes any sense, okay. So says the Gemara. The the Bnei Yisrael came up on the Yardin on the tenth of the month, Harishain, on the first month on Nisan, Ba'asara Loi Mehili on the tenth day they didn't do a Bismillah, Mishum Chulsha the Orcha because of what. 
the the chulsha of the derech. They were they were tired from the derech. Hazo emis abelhu. When did they go ahead and do hazo? Lav kishen arelim. It must have been one done when they were arelim. Good. So l'chari avaraya that an arul could go ahead and 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 have undergone um, hazo. Trading where v'dilma leyovid pesach klal. Maybe they didn't bring a pesach at all, which is not such a strange thing because after all they didn't bring it all the years in the midbar either. They didn't bring again the, only the first year going out. They, in other words. The, you, you bought Pesach Mitzrayim, and then you bought the next year. They didn't bring all the other years, so maybe they didn't bring it also. You know, well, why? It says, no, you, why Sakadite? You can't say that. The Chsiv, Fayasu, is a Pesach. It says, and they, and they did bring the Pesach. Okay? So, Lachor, you have a riot that what has all to be done on the oral based upon that timeline. Maskevla, Mazutra, Vidilma Pesach, Ababa, Tomahoya. Hey, one second. Maybe they were Tommy. And what's the Lachor of Roy Vitsiva Tommy? Nope. <laughs> Rashi, Tanya Beheda, he says openly, Malu, the Tavlu, the Aslu Pisfein, the Tyra. Ah, can't say that because it says they, they underwent the Mila, they were Taivo, and they brought up Tyra. So therefore, you, you do have a Raya that what that an Oral can undergo Asa. Amar Rav of Yitzhak, Amar Rav, like Nitna Priya Mila La Avram Avinu. The mitzvah of Priya was not given out to Avram Avinu. Now, the, there's, there's, there's two parts to a Mila. We saw this in, in, in Perikadar Lez Vemila. One is the cutting of the Arla, cutting that off. And then there's the membrane at the top where you pull it back. That's called Priya. That's called Priya. You, if you do Chetichas uh, Arla without Priya, it's not in this, this kind of Mila. This kind of Mila. But Avram Avinu, when he was commanded in Pasha Slechacha for, for the Mila, was not given the mitzvah of Priya. Amrav, lo'i nilu Priya milas Avram Avinu, shnemar ve'esahi, it says in that time, in Yeshua, at that time. Now, what does it say at that time? Listen to what it says. It says, Be'esahi, Amar Hashem al Yeshua, Asei l'cha charbes turim, Make for yourself sharp stones, V'shuv mo'ilas b'nei Yisrael sheinis, And mal b'nei Yisrael a second time. Now, let's go, guys, there were two sets. They were the ones who went out of Mitzrayim, who were Gemalit, and the ones in the Bismillah went out, who were not Gemalit. Okay, so now it says, Vesahi, Amar Hashem al Yeshua, Aselacha Charbas Tzurim, go ahead and make what? Charbas Tzurim. Okay, and what are you going to do then? What, you go, what are you going to do then? You're going to go ahead and give them what? You're going to give them a Mila, says the Gemara, Kimule, why? Vidil Mahanak Mahu. Maybe you're speaking about the ones that were not gemalit. In other words, you're telling me this, this is a Priya, guys. You're telling me this is Priya. This is not Mila. This is Priya. Fred the Gemara, there's another set. Maybe it's the one who, 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 had a meal, who didn't have a Mila yet. The ones who were born in the Midbar. Why does it mean Umashuv? Ella must be what? Ella lav le Priya. Umay Shainis, and what do you mean the second time? La Kushe Saif Mila, the end of Mila, the 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 Priya Khilis Mila, Matchilis Mila Makeves, Af Saif Mila Makeves boy. If none, Elohim Sitzin Amakman Samila, these are the Sitzin that are Maak of the Mila, these are the 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 strips of flesh that are Maak of the Mila. Basa Khaif Besura by Torah, the Basa that covers the top of the of the gid, the in oikla the truma, and you can't eat truma. Okay. Uh Amra Vina Vit him Ravyumya, Baraba, Amarab. It's that's it, 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 it's it's uh, it doesn't have to be the circumference. It can even be the height. Okay, it can even be the height. Now, what's this din of priya that that Avraham Avinu kept the whole color to us? Let's see a Tesis over here. Like nitna, like nitna priya smila Avraham Avinu. The second part of mila that we're discussing, the din of priya, was not given to Avraham Avinu. When we come up on Avraham para milasan, Avraham was pareya the mila, their mila, guys, not his mila. Their mila, their mila. Rashi says in Chumash, Avram didn't need mila because he was since he had, had Tashmish, the automatically it was was pushed back. But him mila son, Afa gavlein mitzav. Even though he was not mitzav, kedom beishus rabba. That feel the air of tavshil and kaim. Then toyma loy nitla priya ad Yeshua hechi garmina minei. If it wasn't given to Yeshua, had Avram had Avram been no. I can see. Ela mitzvah shein navi v'shel chadish davar meyata beishlema the lachamish misinai who Yeshua as asam chaklo the lachamish misinai knows that and Yeshua was slain on that. So I think it's it's um, it's very interesting. Avram Avinu 
was the first one to undergo a bris milah. Avram kept calling it Tarakula. So the very famous question is why Avram Avinu did not therefore do a Mila. If he kept calling Tarakula, why did he not do a Mila? So the most, most easiest terrets is, the easiest terrets is that God greater is the person is commanded and does, and is commanded not to do. So perish. Any mitzvah that Avram performed, if he didn't do it, whether he was commanded or not commanded, he could do it and redo it again. Meal is a one-shot deal. Meal is a one-shot deal. So if he would have done it when he was in with Silva, so therefore he waited for, for this reason. There's a brisker rav, and, and I'm going I'm to share with you a Mesha Chachman in a second. There's a brisker rav. The brisker rav says something unbelievable. He says an unbelievable thing. We're, what's the din of Mila? We know that the oral inherently is, is a dove of Mayas. We're getting rid of the oral. oral. The, the oral guys is a lost in Fashtupt. Fashtupt, and you're stuffed up. Orla, the first three years of a, of a, of a, of a, a fruit bearing tree's life. It's fashtupt. You can't have enough from it. Our last lave, the lave is fashtupt. It's, it's stuffed up. You can't learn. You've been spatamping the lave. The orla, if, if a person is an oral, it, it, it stops the kedusha. Until Avram got the mitzvah of Mila, there wasn't any orla. There was a foreskin. There was a piece of, there was a piece of meat over there. But it didn't have a din of Arla. It didn't have the, the mias of Arla that we have to take off. It's only after Avram got that mitzvah of Arla was there a din of removing it. Until then, there was, it was nothing. What made it the dove of Moyes that it is, is the mitzvah of Mila. So therefore, Avram didn't do it because there was no reason to do it. There wasn't anything there. There wasn't anything there. And it and, and Meshachachma explains this beautifully. Meshachachma says it. Go look at your, look at your, uh, your phones. I have it on your phones. I'll put it up on the screen in a second. Um. We can see this, guys? Okay. It says, so Yipal Avram Alpanov. Avram fell on his face. This is when Avram is given the midst of Mila. Now, is this the first time Avram is speaking to Akadish Baruch Hu? Of course not. Lech Lecha, Vayere Lecha, Avram, he speaks to him all the time. Now, Mimoira HaShchina, he falls on his face because of the fear of the Shchina. Sha'at Shleimol, Lachoyu Boi Koyach Lamoy, Veruach HaKodesh Nitzavas Olav. Until the Arabis Mila, he couldn't stand anymore. The Ruach HaKadosh was upon him. Rashi B'Shem Chazal. Upirushoi al derech ma de isim mesech b'yavamis. The oral asal lechel v'lasuch b'truma. An oral cannot eat or be sach b'truma. Rak shaloi b'zmana k'aydem ches. Eina orla. Before eight days, you're not an oral. Kain p'shit l'yushalmi. Guys, we weren't poached in Agamar to Shaila. But the Yushalmi says... Before eight days, you're not an oral. So you would be able to take a baby and smear it with oil. You know why? Because before eight days, again, Ravi asked the kasha of a tisbro, he asked the kasha on Uriah, right? So Agamara wasn't paisha to Shaila. But the Yushalmi is. The Yushalmi says a baby before eight days old is not an oral. It's not an oral. The chain pasta grabeno rambam is not an oral. The dafka koidm shmoina, tlehoye kiyotzebar, barmi mila bishamakan. A tumtum who's not mechuyiv to rip it open is called an oral. Ayin shem betoyis v'stava. Ulechein koydim huska huska tzivu Hashem la mol eitzel shem nivra. Before Hakadosh Baruch Hu commanded Avram to go ahead and have a mila. Lo yehoisa meusa ha'arla. The arla was a meusa. But how you made b'shchina, I made a love, and Avram was able to stand in the shchina and able to talk to the shchina. Avol kivin shamalai. Since he said, go ahead, do go ahead and undergo a bris and be summim. Then all of a sudden, why did he become an oral? He changed as soon as the tzivui came, it went from a piece of flesh to the meas kind of arla. And therefore, what happened? Says the and that is correct. That's why. 
that's why he, that's why he couldn't he couldn't stand anymore. And and, and that's but that's the briskarov. I mean that, he, that so that that is is a geschmack geschmack of terrors, guys. Right, it's a beautiful terrors. That, that, why wasn't Avram at Silva? Because there was, was there, there was nothing. There was nothing. There was there, there wasn't any mitzvah. If he would have if we would have gone ahead and cut his arlo off, he wouldn't have come any mitzvah. He kept calling Tarikul, cool, but there wasn't any mitzvah yet. It's like a shmak of shot to explain. Okay, have a great night.